Let's take a look at what has happened thus far this week in OK, the WSK Euro Series here at Lonato. Joseph Turney, JT from MK in the UK, the 2 1 1. Tony Cutt was the fastest qualifier, setting the track alight with a 46.037. And certainly one of the two drivers to beat as you look at Charlie Burtz, the triple two X3. He starts on the second row of the grid, the third generation racer, the English Austrian, looking at his first biggest ever victory in WSK racing. Jimmy James Wharton for the Paralympic team along with the reigning world champion. In form here this weekend, Andrea Kimi Antonelli on your screen will start from pole position in the 201 Heart Republic. Joseph Turney on the outside of the front row of the grid for the OK final round two of the WSK Euro Series here at South Garda Karting. Back with you live pitches, it's a 21 lap final. Just over 25 kilometers, they will race here to the south of the town that is Desenzano on the southern shores of Lago di Garda. Lago di Garda. Oh, please forgive me, it has been a very long week. In fact, by the end of Sunday, as you look at the pole set of 201, with Charlie right behind. By the end of today, we will have raced heats, pre-finals and finals included 88 times in total. Thousands of kilometres collectively raced. And 25 to race here this morning. 25 kilometres to race over 21 laps. This is JT from MK in the UK. Joseph Turney from Milton Keynes in the United Kingdom. This superstar talent from England in the factory tourney cart, powered by the Vortex engine. Second row of the grid. How impressive has Charlie Vertz been this weekend in the triple two X3? His super experienced mechanic, Mansell Smith, behind him, about to push him into life. Charlie Vertz with his father, Alex, the multiple Le Mans winner, watching on live. His mother, Julia, as well. His older brother, Felix. The Austrian Rallycross champion and younger brother Oscar racing with us this weekend. That on the second row of the grid, that's Maya Veg, The Richard Mill Young Talent Academy driver. She's been in brilliant form. The Dutch Belgian girl from Valencia in Spain in the 220 Viral Art. It's a mouthful, it is correct, and she is fast. Could either she or Charlie score an upset here this afternoon? The problem for both of them is that Kimmy and Joseph have been super quick. Nevertheless, they start on the second row of the grid, which we look at for, look at for you in its entirety here this morning. Andrea Kimi Antonelli will start on pole position 201, the IAMI powered Cut Republic, alongside JT from MK. Then it's Charlie and Maya, Nikita Bedron, the ruthless racing Russian for Ward Racing, and the reigning world champion, his form at the right time of the weekend, Lorenzo Travisanuto. JV and JW, Juho Valtanen and the Australian James Wharton, Lorenz van Hoppen alongside Laventia de Besh. Oli Gray, who won the first round of the series at Sarno alongside the Dutchman Dilano Vanto. Luigi Cotluccio on the super sweet Norton, Jamie Day and Rafa Camara. Sebastian Hedin in the BRM cart. Starts a life alongside the second boy from Brazil, Matias Morgato. Christian Bertuca, Cole Morgan, William Silverholm in the energy, Michael Paparo in the Praga. Kuman, Quattroni, Leandro Andruti in another Praga cart alongside another Menino do Brasil, that's Ricardo Gracia. The South African born Swiss driver, Tony Nauder in the 233 X3. Sip Grab from Smirn in Denmark. The Ricky Plin Motorsport driver, Sebastian Graveland. Then it's Sutuno from Thailand. Kuba Ratsky from Poland. Callum Bradshaw, the new recruit for the Tony Kart team. Alongside William Metzetti for KGT. Bechichka and Palescu. The Eastern Europeans, the Czech and the Romanian on the final row of the grid. 
Welcome to South Garda Karting, that magnificent grandstand, which unfortunately we have to close off to race this weekend. You can see it from the highway. We're ready to race. But we go round one more time. Antonelli on pole position. Just quickly on that note, unfortunately, it is officially another closed doors event. Who knows? The fresh air, the open air, it might, well, you might contract a certain disease that we won't speak about. This also accounts for the Italian Championships in OK. You can see the logo. Il Campionato Italiano Karting, Acci Sport, the Automobile Club of Italy, working with us this weekend to award the titles for OK. Last year's championship, Italian Championship, was won by Dynamite Dino for the Ward Racing Team. Nikita Bedron, the Supermaster Series champion, also for Ward Racing on the third row of the grid. The unfortunately magnificent yet empty grandstand that you can see from the highway south of Desenzano. As Antonelli comes up alongside it, look at Charlie from the second row of the grid. Welcome to Lenato. Welcome to the WSK Euro Series. We race. Turney misses the start. Fabulous jump by Charlie. Throws the triple to X3 down the inside. Emulating his older brother Felix, the Austrian rallycross champion. He was all locked up. And he's gone into position two behind Antonelli. We have lost on the start one of... Oh, it's Travis Anuzzo and one of the Lennox Racing Leclerc carts. It's the round one winner, Oliver Gray. And also Norton Andreasen involved in that, as was Christian Bertuca. Antonelli doesn't know what happened behind him. He does not care. He leads the race from Charlie. That's Joseph and Juhal Valton. And look at the inside rear of the Pantano Cat Republic off the deck. There was fresh air between the Leconte tyre and the bitumen. The Finn in P4 behind the Englishman Joseph Turney. Verts, fabulous drive. He's still sliding on the opening laps of this race. That would suggest to you that the Xpre team have set that card up to come on later in the race. Antonelli, though, is pulling away. Take a look at this. A hectic start, which has claimed Oliver Gray, the round one winner, Norton Andreasen, Bertuka, and William Metzetti. Oliver Gray, the race one winner from Sarno. He dominated at the foot of Vesuvius. Has gone out, as has Bertuka. As we go full course yellow. What a start. The lead of Antonelli was four tenths of a second. It now evaporates that corner or that first corner, first lap accident, which has claimed Gray, Andreasen, Bertuga, and William Metzetti has brought out the full course yellow. They go by the accident scene now. Carts littered around the circuit. We've gone full course yellow. Of course, this race also, as we say, counting for the Italian Championships, Il Campionato Italiano Karting per O Capa, full course yellow. The Italian driver from the English Austrian, Austrian from Monte Carlo, triple two Charlie on lap three. Full course yellow. So the order is Antonelli, Wurtz, Turney, Valton, and Colucio. Meyer's gone back to six. Bedron seven. Wharton eight. The two Dutch drivers, Dilano Vantoff and Lorenz van Hoppen, nine and ten. Ricardo Gracia and unfortunately Tony Nauda and the Thai Sutumno have also been caught up. There is Christian Bertuka. In fact, Oliver Gray walking back out of the race. We're down to 24 from the original 34. The retirements include Gracia, the Johannesburg born Swiss driver. Tony Nauda, she retires as her teammate Charlie's in second. Sutumno's out. Andruti's out. Travis Anuto, the reigning world champion, retires. As does Kamara, Gray, Andreas, and Bertuka, and William Metzetti. 
They start lap five with Antonelli in the lead. At least another lap under full course yellow. We have lost 10 drivers. Gracia, now there, Sutomno, Anguruti, Travis and Uto, Kamara. Two of the Brazilians are out. The other remaining, Matias Morgato, he's in 24th and last place. Oli Gray, the race one winner from Sarno, retires, as does the super Swede. Not so super this morning for Norton. Bertuka and William Mezzetti. So Antonelli, Andrea, Kimi, the reigning WSK Euro Series champion from 2019. That was in juniors. He leads the field around. We get ready for the restart. It will be lap six of the WSK Euro Series, the second round. And we go back racing green. Look at Charlie, the king of the starts. Right behind him is Joseph. We're green for the second round of the WSK Euro Series. Charlie down the inside. Almost takes the lead from Antonelli. That leaves him vulnerable to Turney, who just sends it. Valtanen also goes through on Verts. Opportunistic, but it was worth the try for Charlie. He's back to four. Now being hounded down the hill by Luigi Coluccio. Luigi goes through to P4. Charlie goes back to five. Antonelli skips away. Charlie tries to retake the place, runs into Coluccio on the exit. And capitalizing is Maya. She goes through into position five. The girl from Valencia in Spain, the Richard Mill Young Talent Academy driver, goes wheel to wheel with Charlie down the straight. Myers up into fourth place, ahead of Coluccio now. There's the Dutchman Tilano for Forts Racing. Just ahead of Bedrin, Wharton, Van Hop and Ravesh. This is a fabulous fight for round two of the WSK Euro Series. Lap seven of the 15 lap final, Antonelli, Turney and Juhal Valton and one, two, three. The Tony Kart in between the two Kart Republics and Maya driving absolutely brilliantly. The Dutch Belgian girl from Valencia in Spain, her father, Jeroen, nervously watching on from the Spanish coastal city. His girl in fourth place. Coluccio trying to chase her down. Valtonen in third for Team Giorgio Pantano. Then it's Turney being attacked by the Finn. Antonelli leads the way here today. The WSK Euro Series. Here at the center of the karting universe, South Garda Karting Lonato. There are cars littered all around the circuit. We went full course yellow after an incident on the first lap. That claimed 10 carts. Antonelli from pole position leads the way. The margin is just half a second. Valton and the fastest driver on the circuit. 47-3-0-2 for the Finn, the inside rear. Off the deck as he chases down the Englishman. What a fabulous fight this is here this morning. As Coluccio closes in on the back of Maya for P4. The Cosmic hooked up this morning here at Lonato. Delano behind in sixth. Then as Bedron, Wharton, Charlie back to nine. And then the Dutchman, Lawrence van Hoppen for the Lennox Racing, Charles Leclerc Racing Team. Valton and thought about going down the inside of Turney in the 2-1-1 Vortex powered Tony Kart. He's an opportunity for the Finn. If he makes the move, he will go through to two, but he will lose time to the leader. Antonelli as well needs to be tactical. The best passing opportunity is the 10 meter wide back pit straight. The part of the circuit that was extended, but they're approaching now. Back in 2016, this is the best passing opportunity on the track. Turney just edges it over to the ripple strip on the exit. Just to make the 2 one, one Tony cut that little bit wider. The gap 0 0.0 or 0 0.4 of a second, I should say. You can see on your screen that it equates to about four to five cart lengths. Down into the hairpin they go. One, two, three, Antonelli, Turney, and Juhal Valtonen. 
You are watching us live on WSK.IT. This is round two of the WSK Euro Series here at Lenato. Turney looks behind over his right shoulder, the Finn. Joseph, he's still right there behind you. Antonelli, the gap, 0.4 of a second. Nikita Bedron, I'll tell you, is in sixth place. There's the Russians, it's the fastest lap of the race. Coluccio's gone through to four on Maya. Then it's Veg, and then Bedron with a 46.596. The ruthless racing Russian. Four ward racing is two tenths of a second faster than the leader as Baltanen slides on the exit of the old turn five chicane here at Lenato. One, two, and three. We have past half race distance now as they come across the line. The gap still just 0.4 of a second. A cat and mouse game at 75 miles an hour for our friends watching live in the United Kingdom and the United States. To us, they're topping 128, 129 k's an hour down the straight. The OK direct drive carts putting close out to near on 40 horsepower revving at 16,000 RPM as they smash the rev limiter to pizzas down the straight. Antonelli still just four tenths of a second. Now Tony straightens up that slight, slight error from you, Hal Valtonen. Just a lap ago on the exit of the chicane, he just washed off that little bit of speed. There's the Cart Republic for you, Hal. Third in the 2017 World Championship at PFI in England. That was aboard a Niami powered cosmic cart for the Kotala Motorsports team. Now he's driving for the legend that is Giorgio Pantano. There's Coluccio, there's Bedron, there's Bantoff, who's also gone by Maya and Charlie Verts. The triple two expiry in position eight. Head of the Australian James Wharton and Michael Papado in the 248 Praga rounds out the 10. Again, Feltonen doesn't seem to like the chicane. He's sideways on the exit. He goes in so deep as the field pours through. Loses a tenth of a second or so. And with that, loses ground to Turney. As they come across the line, three tenths of a second. Joseph has dispatched of Uhal. And he's catching the race leader. There's Coluccio Bedron with the fastest lap of the race. Bedron of 46.546, marginally faster. Then the race leader from the city that brought you the Lamborghini supercar, Il Bolognese, and the boy from Bologna, Andrea Kimi Antonelli. Finished second at the opening round of the series at the foot of the still active volcano that is Mount Vesuvius outside Napoli in the south of Italy. Oliver Gray won that day in early July, but the Brit has retired. We're down to 22 as the Swede Sebastian Hedin in the BRM and Callum Bradshaw from Leicester in England also retires the 255 Vortex Power Tony Kart. His teammate though, that's Joseph. Closes in on the back of Antonelli who skates under brakes again, Bedrin, 46-4. The Russian is coming. Trying to chase down, first of all, Coluccio. And then this battle for the podium. There is Nikita. For the Ward Racing Team, the fastest driver on the circuit. As Charlie and Maya go wheel to wheel for seventh and eighth place. Six laps now remaining. The WSK Euro Series. This is the final for round two. We come back this afternoon to race the final round three of the series, this double header weekend. 226 drivers, 34 nations. But here in the north of Italy, it's an Italian who's in P1, the Englishman, P2, that's Joseph. And from Finland, Juhal Valtonen in position three. Coluccio down the hill, being caught by Bedrin. One quarter of the race still remaining into the hairpin. Antonelli's got it under control for the moment. Turney will surely launch one final attack as we keep one eye on the virtual championship. 259 points for Antonelli. Belton and 221 and Turney 181 in third. That's in the series. The order slightly changed on track as you can see. 
as Antonelli comes through, keeps it off the ripple strip. Still four tenths of a second back to Joseph. Valtonen has dropped off the Englishman. There's Coluccio down through the chicane, being caught by Bedrin. Plant off four forts are racing. Charlie's gone through on Meyer. He's now back into seventh place. He was in second off the start. That opportunistic move, it was worth the try. He almost took the lead. It didn't pay off. But he's here to race. He's in fine form. He has impressed us immensely this weekend, Charlie Burtz. He's in seventh place in the final which only has three and a half laps remaining. The order at the bottom of your screen, the Italian, the Englishman, the Finn, another Italian in Coluccio, and then the Russian Bedrin, Delano, Charlie, Meyer, the Australian, James Wharton, and Jamie Day from Dubai and the United Arab Emirates rounds out the 10 for the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc Racing Team. Turning one final opportunity, three laps, now remaining the WSK Euro Series. Round two final here this morning. The gap, 0.343. There's Coluccio, there's Bedrin. Dilano Vanto for Forza Racing. Charlie going through in seventh from Maya. Has he got anything left? The Tony Cup. You can see it's working beautifully on its home track. Antonelli aggressive behind the wheel, but he's just going quick enough to keep the talented Englishman behind him. Speaking of talents, Andrea Antonelli, we have to remember he's 10 years, well, not quite, Joseph's junior. About six, I think, off memory. Valtonen in third. Older than the both of them. The super experienced Finnish driver. Two laps now remaining. And the Finnish soldier, literally, yes, for the Finnish army. And this world-class racing driver, Juhal Valtonen. Poor team, Giorgio Pantano in third place. Turney, though, in second. Antonelli's got it under control. He'll take the series lead into this afternoon's final, even if he finishes in second, which is not looking likely. They'll round the final corner with one lap to go. Down the inside goes Joseph, closes up, he'll be slow on the exit. He was too far back, this is the last lap of the race. Now the gap is half a second. He sent it, but the mail truck had already left. Turney loses time again, Antonelli skates under brakes. He's got the lead, he's got the victory in the bag. Unless he makes an error, which is unlikely, he drives like a machine. This mega talent for Cart Republic. Indeed, the team of Dino Chiesa, they're one and three. Turning in second, won't catch him. Three corners to that checkered flag. The series leader, the boy from Bologna. 2-0-1 for Cart Republic. Rounds the final corner. Andrea Kimi Antonelli wins round two of the WSK Euro Series here at South Garda Karting, the centre of the karting universe. Turney, JT, home in second, and you help Felton and the Finn on the podium in third. A fabulous race. Coluccio just misses the podium. The 230 Cosmic, home in fourth place from Bedrin. Vantoff, Burtz, Myers eighth, Jamie ninth. And Lodens Van Hoppen gets the Australian James Wharton on the final lap. The Dutchman comes home in position 10. Antonelli did it from pole position. A safety car or full course yellow interrupted race which claimed eight carts. And we had more retirements, which we'll show you in just a moment. Antonelli wins round two of the WSK Euro Series. Turning on the podium second and Valtonen home in third. Coluccio, Bedrin, great drive from the Russian, Vantoff, Charlie seventh, Maya eighth, Jamie nine, and Lodens van Hoppen. Gets by James Wharton, then it's Ravesh, 
Good drive, good performance all week from Michael Papado in the, pa uh, the Praga cart. Ratsky from Poland from near on the back of the grid. Morgato, the sole remaining boy from Brazil, 15th. Then it was Guazzaroni, bravo Alessio. Ahead of Nicola Kuhlman for Boscaini Motorsport. Cole Morgan from the United States of America comes home. Takes the checkered flag, does the 256 Tony Kart driver from the USA. Silverholm, Bichichka, Peleshku and Sebgraf, the final finisher. These drivers, including Oliver Gray, as you see, did not finish. The round one winner falls down to fourth in the virtual championship going into this afternoon's final. So it will be Antonelli who stands on the top step of the podium. Joseph second and Juhal from Finland in third place. The podium presentation from here at Lenato in just a moment. The podium presentation for a fabulous race, the WSK Euro Series round two for the OK category for Juho, Joseph and Andrea. The drivers just making their way up to the podium. They're about ready to get underway. The Leconte Caps go on. The official partner for WSK Promotion here this morning. So in third place in round two of the WSK Euro Series here at Lonato for Kart Republic, Team Giorgio Pantano from Finland, Juho Valtanen. Second place, JT from MK in the UK. Joseph Tony from the United Kingdom for the Tony Kart Racing Team. Il Vincitore, the reigning junior series champion from 2019 for AKM Motorsport. Kart Republic, winner of round two of the Euro Series. Andrea Kimi Antonelli. Third place, Juho, second, Joseph, and the winner, Andrea, and the national anthem of Italia. Podium for round two of the WSK Euro Series. You are Joseph and Andrea. The second round of the WSK Euro Series also counts as the Italian Championships. Il Campionato Italiano Karting as you hold Joseph and Andrea take the trophies from the WSK race. Of course, we decide the finals, finals later this afternoon as well. But we also award the trophies for the Italian Championships in conjunction with the Automobile Club of Italy. So we'll take down the trophies for the WSK race.